Arduino for Beginners, episode 19. Powering your Arduino project with a 7805 voltage regulator. Now in the last episode, we took a look at how you could use two AA batteries to power your Arduino project. Well, in this episode, instead of using the lower voltage stepped up to high, we're going to step a higher voltage down to a low. Now, the specs on the, uh, the 7805, um, the input voltage on the data sheet says between 5 volts and 18 volts maximum. But from usage and experimenting with these over the years, I have found uh, anything much under 7 volts, you don't really get a 5 volt output. It's more like between 4 or 4.5 until you get up to close to 7 volts as an input voltage. So... I uh, I would recommend running a minimum of 7 volts, but a lot of people choose uh, 9 volts or 12 volts to run at ease, and that works great. All right, um, for this tutorial, there's just a couple things we're going to need. Um, you're going to want a breadboard. You're going to want your 7805 voltage regulator. You're going to want two 1 microfarad capacitors. Slightly bigger, slightly smaller will work. Um, it's just roughly about one microfarad works great for this. Uh, you're going to need a way to be able to connect your power. What I have here, I'm going to be using a wall wart. So I got a little plug in that will connect to the wall wart. And then for the output, I just got two jumpers. And optionally, uh, I do recommend putting a heat sink on this. Um, these don't get super hot uh, unless you start running like the 18 volts through it and you're drawing the full amp. They, they do start getting warm in. I just go ahead and put one on and here's one right here that I always leave set up so I have it ready to go just for experimenting with and I got my heat sink on there. And I've been using this um, for almost so over a year now, probably going on two years and it works great. But just remember when you put the heat sink on, you're going to want a little thermal grease to put in there as well, or it's not going to work uh, that that good. But all right, um, yep, the only other spec, um, yes, you, um, it's a one amp maximum. I've seen other data sheets. Um, there's some variations of this, so you can get two amps out of it. But uh, by using um, some external transistors with them, uh, you are able to get higher amperage as well. But for most of your Arduino projects, having a one amp power supply for it should be enough. And the main reason you're going to be wanting to using you're going to be using this is because your Arduino, of course, does not provide one amp. It provides uh, what was it, 40 milliamps or 60 milliamps? Um, I actually, I guess I would have to look that up offhand. I don't remember. But this allows you um, to have more amperage to supply to things. So, all right, well, let's just go ahead and I'll show you how to hook it up. So you've got three pins on here. This pin here, the far one on this side, this is your voltage in. This will be your 7 to 18 volts in. Your middle pin, that's your ground. And then this far pin over here on the left, that is your voltage out. That will be your 5 volts. So let's go ahead and we'll stick this in the breadboard. I'll just pick a spot towards the middle there. There we go. And then we'll take our power source. Um, well, beans the middle is ground. I'll put the uh, middle of the ground and the one to the far right is positive. So now that's connected. Now these two capacitors, <clears throat> excuse me, are not 100% necessary. I do recommend them, just uh, it helps it um, to be a little more stable and even. And you just put them in from both sides, the voltage in to ground and from the voltage out to ground. And they are uh, marked with a negative, it'll be a stripe. Just make sure those stripes both go to the middle. Then your output, of course the far left is your output. The middle is the ground. There you go. You connect these to the voltage, um, the 5 volt on the Arduino board, not the VN. This is a regulated 5 volt, so you connect it to the pin that says 5 volt, not the one that says VN. You don't want to connect to that one. And then just connect this to your common ground with your Arduino board. 
And like I said, I do recommend putting a heat sink on there. And uh, just remember, use a little bit of thermal grease. I mean, if worst case scenario, you don't have any thermal grease, you might be able to get it by if you're not drawing lots of power. Or you might get lucky, like this one here still has a little bit smeared on there. But I do recommend putting that grease on. And this stuff's cheap. These tubes here, I think I got a package of 24 of them. I think it was like $2, and that was with shipping. Each one is supposed to be enough for one computer heat sink. But uh, it's the same grease you use on the little ones here for like your transistors and and uh, your voltage regulators and stuff. So, all right. I think we can go ahead and wrap this uh, episode of learning Arduino up. Can't really think of anything else to go over. I mean, like I said, the main benefit um, of using the voltage regulator is your Arduino board, you know, that's in the milliamps where this you can draw an amp. And from what I understand, there are other models, because this one here is an L7805, so that one I believe is the one amp. But there are some other variations of this that you can get that'll uh, supply two amp. I'll leave that for you to check into. This is just the one that I have, so. Well, thank you for joining us here today. If you found this information useful, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And I hope to see you here again uh, for episode 20. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that episode's going to be yet, so you'll just have to tune in to find out. All right. I hope you have a great day. And remember, have fun building. This point. Is there any notes? Is it over there? Are any notes? Are any notes? I'm uh, no. Yes, he heard we should smell we're funny, but it's all fine. I don't know if it's all fine. I don't know if it's all fine. I don't know See your warmer fiddles in here, Murph's odd night. Very not nasty, he took them, are we dead? I said, Helen. Well, when you very thick, no argument, I'll be naive. Says, and I'll look up all the offices, and they put this defense piece all the office, and he'll get results. Naive, the odd girl, when you very not all the office, the margin is all the who's see the defense piece. All the earth. Mark, Elf Mars. 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 Elf Ah, <laughs> 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 I'm 
Uh, I'm just the Oliver. 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 I'm just the